All right, so let's play a quick game of Go Fish with our weekly sight words. So we will read the question in the orange box. If the word matches one of the word cards, one through six, we will put the word from the box next to it. If the answer is no, we will put the word beside Go Fish. So let's start. So here's my question. Do you see the word round? Okay, where should we put it? We should put it by bought by number one. Round, round. All right, so let's read the word together. Round. Okay, read the question in the, in the orange box. Do you see the word here? You do. Where should we put it? by number three. Okay, read the word with me. Here. Do you see the word far? Where should we put it? By number two. So read the word with me. Far. Do you see the word open? Where should we put it? Number five. Read the word with me. Open. Do you see the word only? Where should we put it? Go fish. Do you see the word hold? Where should we put it? Number four. Read the word with me. Hold. Do you see the word old? Where should we put it? Go fish. Do you see the word below? Where should we put it? Number six. Read it with me. Below. Good job. So let's play with sounds and words. Remember that you know how to break words into their individual sounds. Now let's practice. Each tile on the screen represents a sound in the word. I will say a word and then we'll move and then, or, and then you will say each sound in the word and then I will move one tile for each sound you say. So listen as I do the first one. The word is sick. The sounds in sick are s-i-k, sick. Okay, so let's keep going. Bath, b-a-t-h, bath. Good job. Let's do another one. June. 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 Let's do our 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 next one. Jug. What are the sounds in jug? J -ug. Jug. Jug. Good job. So let's keep trying some more. The word is stole. Stole. What are the sounds? St -ole. Stole. What about this word? Stone. Stone. St -o Stone. What about flake? Flake. What are the sounds in flake? Flake. Flake. Good job. Champ. Champ. Ch. 
champ, band, band. What are the sounds in band? B, a, d, band. Good job. Okay, so for this activity, I will say two words, and you tell me if the, wor the words rhyme. The picture names are log and frog. Do the words rhyme? Yes. Who can name another word that rhymes with log and frog? What about dog? Log, frog, dog. Good job. So we'll do the same thing again. The picture names are truck and duck. Do the words rhyme? Yes. What's another word that rhymes with truck and duck? What about luck? Truck, duck, luck. Okay, so the picture names are mitt and kite. Mitt, kite. Do the words rhyme? No. Mitt, it. Kite. Notice how mitt has a short sound, kite has a long sound. They have to have the same ending sounds and they don't, so they don't rhyme. What's in a word that rhymes with mitt? What about fit? What's a word that rhymes with kite? How about light? So my picture names on this one are map Maze. Do the words rhyme? No. They don't have the same ending sound. What's a word that rhymes with map? What about flap? What would be a word that ends with maze? How about haze? All right. So the picture names are wrench and bench. Do the words rhyme? Yes. What's another word that rhymes with wrench and bench? What about clench? Okay, so let's review what we've been working on. Eagle begins with the long E vowel sounds. E. The E vowel sound can be anywhere in a word. Remember that you learned that the long E sound can be spelled with the vowel teams E, E, and E, A. But, here's the exception. You also learned that the vowel team E, A can stand for this short E sound, E. Eh. If you see an unfamiliar word with the vowel team E, A, you can first try blending the word with the long E sound because that, that's more common. If the word doesn't make sense or sound right, then try the short vowel sound. So my this is a this is bread, and I have the word here, bread. Notice how it has the vowel team e a, but it has this short sound. Bread. Bread. I could read it like this, breed, but that wouldn't match this picture, and so I would try again bread. So let's look at some words. Let's look at words with vowel teams. The vowel team in this word will have the long E sound. Say the letters with me. L. Say the sounds with me too. O. E. A. E. P. P. So listen as I slowly blend the sounds to read the word. Leap, leap. I can read the word leap. Let's try another one. So look at my line one. We're going to blend the letters and line ones to read the word. Notice that this word has a vowel team and a final E. So say the letters and sounds with me. L, O, E, A, E, V, V. And my final E is silent. So I know the vowel team EA usually has a long sound. 
This word also has a final E. So listen as I slowly blend the sounds to read the word. Leave. And then I can read the word. Leave. All right, let me switch slides. So let's do another one. We're going to blend the letters to read a word. Notice that this word has a different vowel to you. So say the letters and sounds with me. M, M, E, 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 T, T. I know that the vowel team, E, E, has a long E sound. So listen as I slowly blend the sounds to read the word. M, E, T. And I can read the word meat. Read it with me. Meat. Let's look at this one. So I see the vowel team EA again. The letters e EA will stand for the E eh sound. So say the letters and sounds with me. M, M, E, A, E, N, N, T, T. So listen as I slowly blend the sounds to read the words. Remember that a blend at the end of a word has two different sounds said closely together. Meant. And then I can read the word. Meant. Meant. All right. So here's your blend and read. I want you to practice reading these words. We are focusing on vowel teams EA and vowel team EE. And I know that sometimes the vowel team EA will have the short E sound, E. Eh. Remember, if you read a word and you use the long vowel sound for EA and your word doesn't make sense, then read it with the short E sound, as in bread, bread, ed, head. So if I were to read this, I would say, well, it's e e, or it's e a. It's gonna have a long e sound, ha, eed. But that doesn't make sense. So I try again, ha, ed, head. Well, I know that that's a like a head on a person or an animal. So. If you read it with a long E sound and it doesn't make sense, try reading it again with the short E sound and see if your word makes sense then. That's going to take some practice. So practice your blend and read and then practice your assigned decodable in HMH.